I think one of the tricks with adapting a thing like this, it's the first time I've ever set about doing such a thing. And it's a, like, I do genuinely think that even, no matter how far we've strayed from the original in terms of what kind of play this is, in terms of how it feels, in terms of what actually the words are that are being spoken, none of which are, you know, directly Ibsen's anymore. That I do think it's still respectful of it in terms of the main story sort of architecture is all still there. Yeah. But I think it's been quite an important part of the process to not um, be overawed by it. No. Do you know what I mean? This like, oh, the great classics kind of thing. Like, to be respectful of it, yeah, I hope that people that are admirers of Ibsen's work will see something exciting and interesting about what we're doing. Yeah. Um, I think we've talked about it a lot as a reimagining. You know, that's Aye, the thing. I don't, that it's funny, eh? Because an, adap an adaptation can mean so many different things. It really is a very new play, yeah. but it also very much is Henrik Ibsen's An Enemy of the People at its heart.